No, you! Just posting in Discord, guys. I'm doing great, baby. I search for flower beds in front of me, surrounded by a glowing city. I find myself better in the air. But the silence makes me scared. I'm by that time, I might go nowhere. Like I'm stuck in the ground where I stop and stare And feel like I'm drowning in my head Dropping out of my life like flowers And coming into the rainy hours So now my head's alone I wanna be away, you know Oh, it makes me scared I'm drowning in my head in my head Oh, won't you guide me home Lead me toward the unknown Let me follow your side Guide me through the Welcome, welcome in, everybody. It is I, Sailor Moon, not Jessica Stouts. <laughs> Check out the fit, guys. Oh, breaking my glasses. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh my god. Gonna be lurking on that Netflix. Yeah, let's turn this music down. And I thought I got gloves, but I uh, decided I was gonna make some and I didn't end up doing that. So I will. I will. What do you guys think though? <laughs> Super cute, do you like it? These are so long. <laughs> We're gonna be doing ticket giveaways. Draws, not giveaways, ticket draws, ticket draws. Getting the ticket draws. We're gonna be doing that at the end of today's stream. So if you want to get a chance to get a ticket in the draw, you must gift a sub, you must subscribe or gift a sub. Your name gets put on a ticket, gets put in here, and we are drawing. 
<clears throat> Drow went. Yes, Streamlabs. We do want to build a community and be a part of something that's caring. So we will join that Discord. I'm glad my headphones can sit on here, though. I don't know why that's down. You... Don't let your kids what's it dramatic all over a lollipop. Mm. Don't forget. We also have sub commands, exclamation mark command in the chat because we have sub commands, you guys. I think we're gonna start with some fort. I think that'll be a good start. And then move into some scary games, maybe some Dead by Daylight. I'm like waiting for my buddy to tell me I can come grab Shatter, but he's fucking. Taking a sweet ass time. <clears throat> mm. What what did everybody do today? How was your mornings? How was your evenings? What did you eat for supper? Tell me, tell me all about it. Someone like me. Oh, I have stuff I need to claim right on my other platform. Marvin, baby! Seven months! Seven months, baby! Seven months! You kidding me? <laughs> I was attached. I should have gotten unattached right at that. We're doing ticket give ticket giveaway today, so now you can donate on another ticket, my baby. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me try not run over my hair. And let go win it. Oh wow. Well. It's been absolutely hell. Looking for a new place. It's okay. I understand. I understand. Moving as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on, I gotta take a, actually, I gotta take a
Muito bem explotado! I wonder if there's a timer. What are you trying to do? in first time chatter thank you for coming spending some time with the one and only sailor moon you come in from my friend Computer. Welcome, welcome in New Yorker and love to see you in baby. I don't know how to say I'm gonna be talking, so thank you. Like I do, but like It's pretty cute. I thought I had the gloves too, but I have to make I'm gonna have to make some because I don't think it came with any. Mm. Mm. Maybe we'll do some randoms first. See how they see how it goes with the randoms first. Right? Right, I thought it came with it with the with the boots, but apparently I was misinformed or did not pay attention to what the thing said and it did not come included. So that's okay though. Um, I can even make some. It's not that hard. Just grab go to the dollar store, grab white gloves and like glue some red onto it. Like not hard at all. Oh, and don't forget, you guys, stick around because at the end of the stream, we will be doing a ticket giveaway. If you want your name to be on a ticket, you have to subscribe or get a sub. Every gifted sub is another ticket, and you, yeah, you have a chance to win.
You guys got mics? Where are we going? You just gonna talk? Okay, don't talk to me then. I'll find somebody else who will. Somebody else who will. I'm starting to fight evil by moonlight. So, can you just not? Can you fucking not? Bruh. Bruh! What in the actual fuck? What in the actual fuck is this kind of game? Sailor Moon, go pull that shit! Bubblegum! Nice to see you again! That last round, man, that was crazy. I'm just doing some randoms right now. I'm just trying to feel, uh, feel everybody out. Ah, oh, it's nice seeing you guys again. Jake, my friend. Go! You guys got mics? Since it's just the three of us, I think that we really should communicate. Yeah. Nice. nice. I'm assuming you're Jake. Oh, no, I'm Bubblegum. You're Bubblegum! Aw, oh, nice! So you're a Twitch streamer? I am. Nice. Yeah, I enjoy it. Do you Twitch? Uh, used to, but uh, I got hacked, so. Oh no. Just kind of gave up after that, so. Oh. Good for like two years and now I'm back, so. How, how old are you? How, how old are you? 13. Oh, wow. Wow. Gaming, streaming when you were 11. Streaming when you were 11. Yeah. Wow. Intense. So are you good at Fortnite? So are you good at Fortnite? Uh, decent, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes. True. Do you prefer building, or do you like the non-building? Uh, building for sure. Yeah. Do you play any other games other than Fortnite? Yeah, I play Call of Duty, uh, GTA, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, and uh, a couple other games. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God! He one-shotted me. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, yep. dead. Jake, my man, he's over here. Come and kill him. I'm coming. I gotta get a gun. Fuck, he yeah, one shot at me with that damn shotgun. I ain't got no gun. Yeah, I'm coming. No worries, you guys. You get get yourself a weapon first. Oh, he's a rope player. There's two Sneaking other people right there at that uh, uh, diner place. Let's go back. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm coming right now. I popped the shoe. Might get your boot card up. I got uh, bandages. Somebody coming up here. Be there in a second. I'm just gonna take this shield. And these meds. Thank you, thank you. I thought they could do that. Come on, Jake. I'm good. I'm good. The guy's being chased by a wolf over there. Oh, uh, kids oh, side. Uh, right there. He had that automatic shotgun on him. Yeah, I'm he got around. me. Uh, okay. oh. There's two of them here. Oh my I'm god, dead, I just uh, over the car. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good shit. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Bubblegum, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. One second, I'll accept that in a second. Uh, 
That launch pad. I wasn't sure if you wanted your stuff. You good? Shit, it's more to come. Okay. Oh, I can't press something. I'll go get your stuff. Automatic over here. Where is it? Let me get that thing. Definitely take that automatic. You hear me? Everybody don't got no minis on them? Nope. Uh, you know, yeah, I have one. Let me get it. Where? Alright. Yeah. Cheap flowers! You're smoking and lurking? Nice. <laughs> Let me get some. Oh, I'm like. Being shitty with shoutouts here for you guys. I'm just dying. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Where? Yeah, Manitoba. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Uh, Jersey. Nice. Hey, there's some minis over there. Uh, yeah, I already, I already had popped the 50. I'm about to go inside yeah, this popped. building though. Where are you from, little man? Uh, yes, sir. Nice. Um, Florida. Cool. Oh, it's fancy. It must be nice and sunny there. No, it's not. Oh, God. <laughs> it's not sunny anywhere right now. It's not sunny here either. It's, it's just rainy. People oh, just my... rifted. It's better than so snow. people rifted? <laughs> yep. Uh, do I have a crown? I don't have a crown right now, dang it. I thought I had a crown for that. Some of these. Use some of this. Use some of these. I rifted from Tilted, uh, going towards, uh, Coney. I see a llama. Right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, go around it. I'm gonna have to drop this launch pad. Can you boogie bomb llamas? Uh, probably not. Hey, don't move, come on, don't move, don't move, don't move. Dang it. Alright, alright. Need some juice. Of course, to start spraying it. There's people right here. Okay. Got it. Uh, there's like a bunch of heels up here. Uh, Jess, there's a seal keg up here. Okay. Everyone wants to carry, there's like, uh, those and those. Take these and we'll carry some of that stuff. Yeah. Oh, we can go to Coney? Anybody Maybe. here? Yeah. We can push in Sanctuary. Cause we're not in circle right now. What does everyone play on? PC. 
I'm playing uh, on my Xbox. I'm playing on PlayStation 4. Nice. Okay, yeah, there's a cannon nice above that house, we don't have that. You just like in a marching chat? Nice, Morbid. So have you found a, a place to move to? Or are you, like, are you in the process of packing and moving to the place? How is that, like, what's the... Uh, what's the process been down. like? Oh, no. Almost made it. Not again. Um... I've had this Xbox for about five years now. Nice. I was on Xbox for, like couple months and then I was streaming and stuff but uh, my laptop started messing up and then I was just streaming from Xbox but I wasn't able to do all the stuff I wanted to so I upgraded to PC. Yeah, no, 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 I get that. Still looking for a spot in but, back in here and there. Nice. I don't like play video games and all that anymore that much. No, no. Too busy with school and girls. Oh no, bro, I get no girls. <laughs> no play. At all. Cracked? Sure, sure. That's what all the young guys say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's teammates on me. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, far. One dead, one dead. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Got a box of boxes. I'm trying to hurry up and get over there. Yeah, far yeah, is it? Yeah, get, yeah, in the circle. I can reload and maybe get a booty bomb on someone. Oh my god. Oh, you're dead. Dang it. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my god. There's so many oh, of us. I shot a I'm rocket over there, though. One yeah, dead. that's a good idea. I guess there's just lots. I'm coming. Oh, that's a boot on the car. That's Another crazy. One dead. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Come on, please, 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 please. come on. Is anyone knocked over there? Because he's probably gonna try to res. Might get a squad right here. Uh. Is Got him! Yeah. Um, coming for your reboot. There's, one there's, down. Yeah, there's another guy. There's two other guys, actually. Crack! Bro, where the hell? Dog. They're both right here. Oh my god, bro. Alright, GG's. GG. GG's, guys. By the way, Jake, I added you back. Where, where? Like dying of heat in here. He's gotta open that window for me. I don't know how to. He lost the thing. The thing broke off. The little Turner. Mouth it. Oh my god, there's a TikTok I'm trying to learn. And this is the sound for it. I wonder if I could do it. Probably. <laughs> In the program we did a weird weekend episode of Battle Rap. Can you remember any of the rap you did? My well, money don't jiggle jiggle. It's all the stuff to see him wiggle wiggle. For sure, I'm pretty on a dribble dribble. Do you know that? I did it in my pier. You really have to see it. Six feet, two is a compact. No slack. I'm not going to be this. Go back and go. My mind is just out there. I have to do this TikTok after, so let me practice it one more time. I have a rap program I did. We we can't have a sort of battle rap. Can you remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't jiggle jiggle. It's all the rap. See you wiggle wiggle. For sure, I think you want to dribble dribble. Do you know, right in my pier. You really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact. No slack. I'm not going to be the same. Go back and call it to relax. My client is out there. Red one. I got 
I just I just love this sound. <laughs> That's so good for your big jar. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna try to do it. I gotta time that. Are we good? I, I have wrapped in a program I did a weird weekend episode about rap. Can you remember any? Program I did a weird weekend episode. I, I have wrapped in a program I did a weird weekend episode about rap. Can you remember any of the rap? My money don't jiggle jiggle. Oh, the like. Remember any of the rap? My money don't. Remember any of the rap? Okay, now <laughs> Oh, also, can you please open up this freaking window? Get it. Nine. Oh. I gotta turn up the slate. It's bright. <laughs> it's a funny dance. My money don't jiggle jiggle. My money don't jiggle jiggle. Oh, it's time to see you wiggle wiggle. Wish you all would have been dribble. You know, right in my pier, you really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact. No slack. I'm not going to be the same. I'm going to have to relax. My pies. It's out there. Red wine. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> oh god. Did it work out? Let's watch it. <sighs> okay. Being a TikToker is hard stuff. <laughs> to the program I did a week weekend's episode about rap. You remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't jiggle jiggle. It falls to like to see you wiggle wiggle. For sure, I'm making for a triple triple. You know, riding in my fear, you really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact. No slack, but like the limits. It's a little bit of a good time to relax. My mind is out there. Six feet two 
No, sir. And I'm wearing a full outfit, you guys. So you can't even. Can't even. Come at me, bro. Oh my lord, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god okay Oh my god. Okay. Uh. And it's gonna. I hope it doesn't. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do it. It's gonna let it me in. Hello. Funny song, it makes me laugh. How's it going, lovey? Let's do a dab too. Oh, and I gotta turn down this light because it's way too bright for this. It's way too bright for that. Oh my 
my god! It didn't fucking just put it to process. That's amazing. My booty is showing. Like a little bit of little bit of cheek. Which they never let happen. Oh yeah. What's up, booby? Oh my god, Morgan sent me Sailor Moon porn. <laughs> he see my cosplay. And he's like, oh my god, wear that to bed. <laughs> This silly guy. <laughs> he wants to smash, guys. He wants to smash. <laughs> Hello, I'm wonderful. How are you and don't take selfies? Thank you. I thought the gloves came with the socks, but they didn't, so I'm gonna have to get make some new gloves. But and I still need like the little red balls to go on here and to sit on there. But also, I did just get my nails done too, so. <laughs> we'll just say we're, we're letting the nails free. You guys got a mic? Magic turtle? Busting at nine or niner? Timbo snipes? Anybody? Anybody have a mic? 
Okay, well, I'm gonna go then. You guys have a good game. GG's. Good luck. Ooh, you did, Spooks! Mmm. Oh, I'm so craving a tattoo. Are you gonna play some Fortnite? I think somebody else is asking to join too in chat. I don't think I have you on here yet. Burpee. Fuck, I hate those. Oh, I hate those. <laughs> no one gifted that to me. Do you have me on you in here? I don't even think you have me on here. <laughs> I don't think you have me on that kill. But we should play sometime. Anybody have a mic? Hello, hello. How will we ever to do Yeah. Oh, hi. There we go. Who am I talking to? Lucid. Lucid, nice. How's it going today, sir? It's good. Hi. First game on? We're getting lots of dubs today? What do you what do you at? Mm, it's like ten to game one today. Mm. Oh, somebody left. Oh boy, you know. Yeah, we could do this as a trio. You sound very old. <laughs> Thanks. How old are you? Uh, oh, that's why I sound very old to you. Because you're a baby. Nah. You're a baby. I'm, nah. tw I'm 29. You're 29? You say that like it's an old thing. <laughs> it's not. My mom's that age. Oh my god. Yeah, I have a daughter that's 12. <laughs> what the? Oh, that's the first time I've ever seen someone that age in the game. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I've met a lot of battle, so you must not have been playing for very long. Oh, but I forgot you a baby. Nah. Just little things. 
So where are you from? Uh, Texas. Texas. Oh, cool. I have a friend from Texas. Who happens to also be another adult that plays. Uh, <laughs> where are you from? Canada. Uh. Do you like Texas? I mean, it's alright. I'm not gonna say you do. What kind of fun things is there to do out there for teenagers nowadays? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a typical teenager response to me, sir. <laughs> yeah. He's a baby. He's a baby. I know you guys. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, we're making a blush. Stop. I'm, I'm, I'm going to eighth grade. I know, you're so big. Aww. What? Eighth, huh? gra eighth grade is a big grade. Nah. Are you excited? I don't, well, I don't even know if I'm gonna pass. Oh, uh, with hard work and determination, that's how, sir. Nah, it's just I barely, do any, I barely pay attention. Oh, well, then I, you best get on it. Like I said, hard work and determination. You want to have a successful career and have all the baddies, don't you? you want oh my. If, if you want a baddie, you gotta be a baddie, baby. Get that schooling you know, done. All, well, like, all the girls in our, on my grade have already been, you know, like... I'm talking about girls when you're actually an adult. When you're an, mm. actu when you're an actual adult. If you want a baddie, then you gotta be a baddie. And you only become a baddie when you're an adult, when you work hard, when you're a kid. Or else you end up in a not so awesome place, you know? So that's what I'm saying. Work hard now because it's your future that you're you're working towards, man. My man? Yeah. You know? What? I know it's tough being a kid and paying attention when you got so much other stuff going on in your life, but I No, I'm just I'm usually talking. I'm just usually talking to my friends in class, that's it. See, and you can tell them, you know what? I want to be a millionaire when I grow up. What do you want to be, a bum? Shut up. Stop talking no. to me. <laughs> busy in class. Learn it. No, I don't want to be no bum. Exactly. So you got to tell them to be quiet in class so that you can <clears throat> concentrate. Or yeah. if you're the talker, you have to be quiet in class. No. No, my friends are talkers to you. <laughs> well, then you got to both all be responsible of your own time and manage it properly because time management is a big thing that companies look for when you grow up. Yeah. Yeah. Time management. It's very important. I know I want myself a well skilled man who's hard working and determined. You know? Yeah. And I'm a baddie myself. I run three businesses. You run, you run three businesses? Yeah, I do. Hey. Mm -hmm. You have to make a lot of money for that, huh? You gotta work hard to make a lot of money, though. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I like this boot. Do -do -do. Look at Jess being... <laughs> <laughs> Business. <laughs> oh, you guys are sweet. <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm just talking to my chat. I'm streaming right now. Oh, you're live streaming? Yeah. I'm just answering them back. Do you wait, know wait, I have Do a question. Yeah. If we win this game, can you add me? <laughs> huh? If, if we don't win this game, do I not add you? That's up to you. Well, we'll see. Are you going to be good in school? Yeah. Because if I find out that you're not going to be good in school, me and my chat are going to be like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah. And then, done. <laughs> and then I get banned. Then you get banned. Do you know what Sailor Moon is? No. Look up Sailor Moon. Do you have your phone by uh, you? No, it's charging. Okay, well. 
I was like, it's yeah. You should look up Sailor Moon, because I'm doing cosplay right now in Sailor Moon cosplay. It's pretty cool. And all the young kids don't know what it is, but it's like anime from back when I was younger. Oh well, yeah, so what's anime? One Piece and I think. I didn't even know it was anime when I was watching it. When I was younger, I just realized it was anime, like, th this year. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is pretty cool to watch. We will personally hunt him down and give him a stern talking to if he doesn't do good in school. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Very stern talking to. Wait, so you, you, you do YouTube or what? I do, yeah, I do all that kind of stuff. I have an entertainment company. She does eat. Oh. I'm gonna take on Zeke. We got a group now. Uh, I don't know. We can take in school. Oh, I got it. People, huh? Oh, they're in. Oh, I have a pretty good loot out. I mean, I'm pretty low Oh dear, dear. Fuck off, chicken. I didn't do anything to you, bro. You're so mad at me right now. Stop! I didn't do anything to you, chicken. Ah, uh, you're gonna make me murder you. Okay. Uh... No, you're anyway. Good chicken. Are oh, you there? I don't want him. He's mean. If uh -huh. that was mean, he was on my farm, he'd be fucking chicken soup. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> be fucking chicken soup by now, bruh. Oh, the question of the day. Um, okay, let me check when we get to lobby. It doesn't work for some reason. The command. I don't know what Streamlabs is doing, but I have a question of the day. I can just... I have to... It's my... My daughter messages me them every... So often. I'm trying to catch this chicken, but I keep running away. Well, probably doesn't want to be chicken to me. Yeah. I have chug bashes, only one. There's impulses over there. I have a launch pad, do you want to launch that way? Mm, there's people trying to steal. Should we push them? Yeah. We could. Where are you going right down there? I'll shoot from here. Okay, I see what I need. Don't answer it. I'm fucking flying over here, guys. Into storm. Uh, or into circle. A, uh... I don't know if I saw someone in there. Using this thing to shoot myself. Go go go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use it right now. <laughs> Chicken Jason. Who the fuck was shooting at me? Oh, 
Yeah, I knocked him. So close to uh, the tank. Oh no. I don't know if I can get you. I'm That's 2 okay. HP. Go in the heal. Go in here. Oh. I'll just. This is. Oh my god. Mm, that's okay guys, good job surviving. Oh, I can't survive. was not a win, but it was a good match. I got like 11 kills, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Stay in school and be good, my man. I will. <laughs> GG's. That's a good one. What a sweet young man. Not paying attention to school. Give him one of these though. A one two. A one two. Not fucking listening to school. Oh, right question of the day. Would you rather lick the ground or eat off a shoe? Would you rather lick the ground or eat off a shoe? Eat off a shoe. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? What side of the shoes are we talking? Bottom or top? I'm thinking like... Hmm. That's a good question. It doesn't specify. Because if it's the bottom of the shoe, you might as well just lick the ground. Right? At that point. Exactly. Right? I'm going to say the side of the shoe. Like, not the top or the bottom, but, like, the side. When you flip it on its sides, you get, like, a little bit of both. That's what I'm going to say. Ew! Marvin, you have to pick one. You don't get to say you. <laughs> it's not the answer we are looking for. Like, this is still very bright. Also, it's supposed to be like. <laughs> then you know the shoe. Okay, okay, okay. Did I fix the camera issues? Kind of, sort of. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I feel like 
it would be the same thing if it was the bottom of the shoe, but I feel like the top of the shoe is like too clean because like they don't get that dirty the top of the shoe. I feel like. Oh. I guess how dirty you are. Or maybe a dog pooped on pooped on your shoe. Sometimes Dogs do the silliest things. My dogs haven't pooped in my shoes yet, but I'm sure they might one day. Fuck my life. Fuck me. Oh, I hate this thing. Buy a new one. Fuck. Son of a beach. Son of a beach. Oh, don't forget, you guys. Today we're going to be doing a ticket draw. To put your name on ticket, you must subscribe or gift subs. Every gift that sub is an extra name on the ticket. And we are going to be pulling a whole bunch today. So. Hi. <laughs> I was seeing your message like just on my phone. I was like, oh, I bet you anything Morgan's sending me Sailor Moon porn. And I opened it and it was Sailor Moon porn. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> we'll make our own Sailor Moon porn. <laughs> Fighting dick by moonlight. Being a normal slut by daylight. Cadaver. Where we'll come. Hi guys. So, uh, we're officially off to Calgary Comic Con. Uh, so excited. This is like three years in the fucking making. And um, I'm definitely full of hot glue and desperation that this whole thing sticks together. Cause I Are you playing with your brother? Toes. Oh, oh. I just remember that there is a question game that is actually scientifically proven. 
Well, your brother just got online. Can you just invite me to play? Aw, go play with your brother! Don't be mean! He wants to play with you! So what? Play the little time that you are gonna play with him! Cause he love you! Pushing me to make the scientifically proven to make people either more attracted to each other or even fall in love in some cases. It's three sets of 12 questions, so 36 in total. Spooper, you're trying to tell me that you want to fall in love with me? Hey, well. Shut up! Spoopy. <laughs> Of course, the people have to want to fall in love. Oh, baby, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Spoopy wants me to fall in love. Spoopy. Oh, man, he says woman. <laughs> Shut up over there. You can't get in between me and Spoopy's love. It's undeniable, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Spoops. You don't apologize. You can't apologize for love. Buddy, it's Reiki. Oh, Reiki! <laughs> no, I'm just uh, mm. easy. No, it is. <laughs> 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 What up? Are you a girl or a boy? I'm a girl. Are you a girl or a boy? Boy. Are you like 30 or something? No. Mm. Oh, yeah. Kinda sound like you're a 30 year old man. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to you. I'm level two. Oh, I'm traveling right now. Two hundred and five. Yeah. Mm. Traveling. Mm. Kills on. Oh, that's that. That's right. It kills on. Yeah. Is your brother playing with you, sir? My brother. Yeah. No, my brother doesn't play video games with me. It was on the background. Oh, oh, that's my dad. Mm. It does with the games. Yeah, he's playing video games. Um, what color is he? Oh, he's not playing this video game. He's playing his own video game. Uh, easy. Answer the question. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's, it's, it's like you Like, is this a one-time deal, or is this, like, for the rest of my life? Do I have to join both of these? Dinner guest. Okay, this is a one-time deal. Okay. Dinner guest. Um. 
Man, I'm gonna know like this up. Do you need help? Not yet. That's a good one. Ube! Our ghost found them. Ah, uh, he's right here! He's up. Bob Marley's a good one. Um, I'm gonna pick Adam Sandler. Don't reboot me. I was cold. Stop being in before bed. We just started a falling in love questionnaire. Yes, Ruby. Would you like to fall in love with us? Yeah. If, if you could pick one person to be your dinner guest, Ruby. You must leave your first before you can join another. Oh. oh shit. Just go reboot me. I'm dead. Social. Yeah. Yeah. Character. How, how do I do that? Oh, yeah. I would say Tom Hiddleston because he either has a lot of common interests with me. Uh, and it's like talking to someone I with the same interests. Spoopy, same. That's why I picked Adam Sandler because I feel like he's a super funny person. I like to laugh with people, I like to joke around, and I feel like we would all really have a good time. I'm, I'll do the trial for you, Rooms. I'll leave oh, in. Give you a prop of 12. I'm in, I'm in that lap. So. Breaker's got a monkey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. You <laughs> with the camera facing down like that. Yeah. Would you like to be famous and in what way? Mm. Am I? Me? Mm. Not f like you famous. Like, I wouldn't want to be like big, big famous. Um, I would like to have. A bigger oh. following to be able to have a community oh, and stuff yeah, like that you know like but i wouldn't want to be like movie star famous if you know what i mean right does that make sense but i wouldn't mind having like a bigger following of people Oh, yeah. Dude. I can't get up. Night night rooms. Night night rooms. Oh. Hitting the mic. Oh, I'm gonna Beating up the mic. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm you playing with Reiki? Trying to. <laughs> trying to get to the mic. I kept dying. Can he hear you? Yep, I can hear him. <laughs> Aww. Right. I'm going to. We're going to meet up. I would say just enough to feel seen like I'm worth something to someone and make a living doing what I love. Yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't want to be in a major more cool. Exactly, Spooks. Exactly. Exactly. Agreed. We're already falling in love. Nice. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
so. Stream ops, quit flashing your butt to spoops. We're not there yet. We still have like a hundred questions to go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Stream Labs is getting a little excited to me. Before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you're going to say and why? Yes, because uh -huh. telephones give me, give me social anxiety. Talking on the phone gives me social anxiety. Mm -hmm. I have social anxiety in certain situations, and talking on the phone is one of them. You mean that shit? No, I'm just like, okay, this is what I gotta say. If I have to remember dates or anything like that, I write it down. If I have to spell names even, because I'll, because I'll, I know how to spell the name. Obviously I'm writing it down, spelling the name, but it's like in my head, I get so worked up and like my anxiety kicks in. I can't even okay. remember how to spell a name. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And you cool. still messed up. I know, I know. I know. Believe me, Spoop. Trying to do oh, birthdays, I like making doctor's appointments for my kids. I'll be like telling them their names, like spelling and like giving birthdays, and I'm getting them all jumbled up because there's so many kids, there's so many dates, and names, and all this kind of stuff. And I'm I'm nervous and I'm starting to get anxiety, and then I'm all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god! So I have to write that shit down. So when I could call, I could be like, oh. this child, this is how you spell it. This is the day. Not yet. We're good. And then sometimes I get anxiety and I mess I up what I, what they say doesn't comprehend oh, properly and monkey? I'm like, oh, fuck. I like your monkey. Oh, why is this person fighting? He's fighting your monkey. <sighs> Not a monkey. I accidentally struck them. Wow. My bad. Let's get out of here. I accidentally murdered that person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. It's right here, Brayden. So it's right here. No, that is us. Is We're it... all playing in. Yeah, they go on Xbox too. So me, Reiki, and uh, Brayden are all playing in yeah, separate house. Uh, but we're playing together. Oh, T is... oh, okay. I thought I thought you Brayden invited you, and it was Reiki on the other end. No, no, no. See, oh, that's Brayden. And that's right, right there. Oh, cute. Yeah. Aww. A little yeah. rankster. He's just a little guy. He's a little nephew. Mm -hmm. What, he just turned five? Yeah. Oh, he's so big now. Oh, hey. What would construe a perfect day for you? A perfect day for me would be. I wake up feeling rested. You should go the wrong way. I have a coffee and a hoot. We'll go this way. Oh, he's seen a deep. And I'm waking up in like... Oh, a camping <laughs> getaway kind of thing. Like, I love camping. I love being outdoors. <laughs> so, like, waking up from my tent or my trailer, walking out, oh, and... Yeah. Feeling the fresh air, hearing the birds, feeling the it's silence, right. walking yeah. down to the creek with my morning cup of coffee in like my house coat, running my feet through the water and just sitting there and like just being a part of that moment. And then spending the day in those moments with my kids and my family and stuff like that. With them being good. They have to be good because if they're misbehaving, it's going to ruin the day. So the kids have to be very well behaved that day. I don't know how deep I feel. Because then I get an attitude and I keep it. No responsibilities. That's a good day, too. And with no responsibilities is nice. Oh, yeah, I see. What's something you care about? Doing what you love, the things you love. It's a long list. Uh, yes, that's true. 
I really love the outdoors, so and I just love that sense, Ooh. that morning waking up when everybody's still asleep, and it's like you're camping, and it's quiet and the stillness, but like you can hear like the leaves blowing, the water rushing, you can maybe hear an animal walking through the trees. You can feel the cool water on your toes and the warm sun on your face. That's what killed me the last time. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. I'll take you guys there one of these days. Um, I've made some YouTube videos about it. When did you last sing to yourself or to someone else? Uh, last time I sung to myself would have been a few, a couple days ago in the shower. And the last time I sung to someone else would have been Saturday when the stripper was on the bar. She was playing Sweet Caroline stripping and me and my table were singing to her Sweet Caroline and she was jamming out with us. <laughs> so <laughs> that would have been the last time I sang to somebody. <laughs> that was a good song. <laughs> Sweet Caroline. Come on, bud. Okay, I'll follow you, dude. Can you know the way? <laughs> oh my god, my heart feels... Are we going to do something? Oh, there's an in route in here? <laughs> I can't sing. I don't get... Uh, I don't... You get it from here. Last time I sang to myself was probably an hour ago. But a song that my teacher at school was playing nice got stuck in your head. And the last time I sung to someone else was my kid. Oh, I what? Oh, I didn't pick it up. So I got attacked. <laughs> Always serenading yourself. Do it to get on her nerves. Ah, yes. Okay, Raiders <laughs> going to bed. <laughs> 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 All right, but night rakes, like Reiki, go to the bed. Night Reiki, love you. <laughs> oh, that was funny. If yeah. you were able to live to the age of ninety. Okay. And retain either the mind or the body of a 30 year old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? I would definitely. Okay, so wait. So I would lose my mind at 30. So I'd start losing my mind now, but I would keep my body. That's a hard question for me because I have a fear of getting old. I have like this terrible gut wrenching fear of becoming an old person and looking old, not being old mentally, but looking old. So I feel like I would lean more towards that. Thank you so much for the follow. But exactly right like i want to be able to remember things too so if i just kept my body in shape hopefully i wouldn't look too old so i guess i would have to say the mind one but like i said i have a fear a, a gut-wrenching fear of becoming old like looking old you know we'll see and that's the thing like i already have like a body dysmorphia thing right so i'm like uh, 
Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome in first time chatter. Lovely to see you. We're just trying to fall in love with each other. We're doing um questions. So we've been reading us questions about uh to see if we're gonna fall in love with each other. There's 36 of them. You're a little behind, but you can still pop in and answer as we go along. Your current state of mind is decent. See, like my current state of mind is like Like I'm already like I'm already crazy. So like if it's like I'm forgetting memories and losing memories, like I don't know. I'm probably already gonna be that old person when I'm old. But like for the last next sixty years, right? Like if I get to keep it because I don't know. Yes, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Uh, because some factors, some factors come into play. Um, I'm bipolar and bipolar people tend to die from heart attacks due to like stress and stuff like that, that they cause on their body. I'm a very stressed out person. Also like medications can put stress on your body and stuff like that. If you're on medications, especially for like bipolar and stuff like that so i'm not medicated which means i am unmedicated which means i'm more stressed which means i'm still causing stress to my heart uh so i'm pretty sure i'm going to die of a heart attack and with women women have a higher pain threshold so we don't notice heart attacks we don't have the symptoms of heart attacks as much as men do uh, so there's very possible chances that I've had minor heart attacks or I could possibly have minor heart attacks and not notice it until having a bigger heart attack. So there is a higher chance, um, technically speaking, that that would be what I die from. Unless there's an unexpected event to happen, like, a, you know, like a car crash or, you know, something like that. Um, if it's like, if I, if we're just saying like naturally i would believe it was a heart attack well how do you feel like the last time is gonna be dc it's the last time we're talking about not the first time that doesn't this doesn't count because you're not dead still you're, you're alive now it's when you die and you get reincarnated or whatever you believe in Kidneys or liver, see, that would be another option I would pick, too, due to medications and stuff like that. Um, yeah, anxiety, yeah. I don't eat and drink, right? Exactly, which I've been trying to do. That's why I try to exercise a lot, too, now. I'm trying to take care of my body because of the fact, like, I was not eating for years. So, totally, yeah. Yeah, pain meds, exactly, yeah. Meds, meds take a big toll yeah. on your body, and those are like the heart, the liver, and the kidneys are like, I think the main okay. things that get affected by that, sometimes the stomach as well. And bowels and stuff like that. All I know is I hope I don't drown again. That would be a way to go. I would hate oh, that. Don't I, have to... I hope you don't drown again either. Oh, right. Because that would be fucking oh. pretty tough. If you don't mind, you could tell us about well, like no, when it happened. If it's if it's too much mm -hmm. for you, please don't. Like I'm not saying you have to, but like. Also, today won't be a six hour stream because I do have to do some gardening before bed as well, and we're gonna have sex. So, if 
fuck so many of This one is probably if you're already in some type of relationship with your sister. Yeah, we were waiting for you to come back. Name three things you and your partner care to have in common. Um, well, why did you break that to the What the fuck are you doing with this fish? We both have similar religious beliefs. <laughs> For spiritual beliefs. Um, we are both very outdoorsy people and want to be like self sustaining and stuff like that. Really, really love that type of lifestyle. And we're both very open when it comes to sexuality and stuff like that. Our sex I'd say those are my three biggest things that we have like in common that would be like big relationship things again. Yeah. Would you have the beach when you're coming up pulled out by oh a riptide? <sighs> oh no. Well I'm so glad that you're safe now. Shit. Wow. <laughs> That's scary. That is scary. Damn. And the fact that the harbor. Well, I gotta send my old plane to somebody. They're asking for my link. Both driven, same mental disorders, both are dorks, love that. Pardon? Oh my god, I was unconscious and not breathing for seven minutes. Fuck, that's crazy. Holy shit, easy. That's insane. Holy shit. Oh, you don't have to hold the run button? Oh shit, sorry, I ran the speed break. Do I talk to this woman? Start in scene? So the mission is Hose and Swally? Get a disguise from a corpse. Get off the horse. So I need to. For what in your life do you feel most grateful? My children and marijuana. <clears throat> Same. What are we doing? Appearance? Cross bandage disguise, yeah, it's an appearance. I have slipped with myself. Okay, well, uh, how did I find it? I went to inventory and then I started going down. My animals. My animals are included in that too. I love my babies. My children, those they are included within my children, so let's just make that clear. Let's just make that clear. Say it's my babies. So it's my babies. My doctors, oh that is sweet, Spoopy. They've helped me more than my family knows how to. My family is ignorant and slightly judgy. I had a family like that too. 
But my doctors have no judgment and always had an answer to my questions when I felt lost. That is very sweet. I'm glad that you have had the support that you needed. It may not have been from like, like your family and stuff, but from the mental health of health or from like your doctors or anybody like that, I'm glad that they were actually doing what they needed to do for you to be the best that they could for you to help you get through all that kind of stuff because it is difficult and it is hard to find somebody you really click with and sometimes people end up going through doctors or workers or you know all kinds of things all the time and they don't get the work done that's needed sooner than later you know so i'm glad that i'm glad that you've had that spoopy it's very important Fuck is the point of cutting the tree? Wow. Oh yeah. It does weird things. Same with my parents. Same with my parents. If I could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? Yes. Uh, Where the fuck are you? I don't know, the list is very long. Oh, yeah, I got you. Shit, I guess we'll shot me from there. Where, where are we going? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't know how to answer that one. That one's a tough one. Everything. Trigger warning, trigger warning, guys, before I read this trigger warning. I would change the way my siblings treated me when I was little. I didn't feel human when I was a child. I felt like a toy and was toyed with and abused like it didn't matter. Which spoopy. Remember when we did those questions with Common, too, and how you were, like, uh, uh, there was, like, a toy in the relationship kind of a thing? Like, manifesting or whatever? I know it had to do with, like, the other significant other, but, like... Oh, yeah, I fire. Just, just kind of, like, put, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know? I know how to do with the significant other, but, like, switching it around to put being you, you know? The toy in the little box. Uh, it stays for a bit. Mmm. Mmm. See, and I picked on my brother a lot too. I really did, and part a part of it was probably to do with like how my parents treated me, know. and then how they treated him. Like they yeah. did favoritize him. Like I said too, oh, I wish my parents didn't favoritize as well, but. Yeah. It was like really, I don't know. It was really abusive. Mentally more so. Mentally more so. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we're like a big old bat. As the same way, you're, yeah. Right? maybe but like it, and that could be too that could be too but it just that's what that brought me back to is like the toy thing right it's like so we so you know like daddy issues 
right? Like you, you feel this was a form of abuse to you, like what you went through as, as a child and stuff like that, being toyed with and stuff like that. And usually people bring that into like sexual things as they grow, you know? And not saying that you would do it meanly, but you, you change it to a, be more of a positive thing, right? So with being in a significant other, being played with, being toyed and stuff like that, you know, playfully in a more positive way is maybe a way for you to be able to cope and deal with the way you were treated as a child by your siblings. Well, he's, he's talking to us. If you get what I'm saying? Kind of, maybe? Like, if you understand what I'm saying. Maybe that might not be the case. I'm just saying that in my mind, that's kind of like where I was at interpreting that. Oh, you know? shit, man. Right? Yeah, because it does happen, right? It's like the same thing with like daddy oh, issues. That's what they say. Like, daddy issues could be one of both ways. Like, you could be like, you got abused by your father and you were looking for a, a fatherish figure or a caregiver as a as an adult, right? In your relationship. Um, or you had a really great dad and that's what you look for in a relationship as you grow older too, right? Like just using that as an example, I'm not saying like you have daddy issues, but like, or anything like that, but just is an example compared to the, your situation that we were just talking about. I'm trying to be all like tech, technol technology, tech, tech, technical, technical. That you know what I'm talking about? Wise. I'm crazy. Oh, no, I, just, I don't know. I find the mind, the psychology of things very interesting and the way we do things and why we do things and as an adult compared to kids yeah. and what affects us as a kid because environmental things infect, affect us as a kid. This one was deep. Oh, that's good. That's a... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what the questionnaire oh, does. That was a good question. I feel that was a good, a really good question. Mm-hmm. And get you talking. I like that one. <laughs> Our love is biting. Our love is budding, spoops. We have a budding love. My friend's tire popped when he went to go get shouted earlier. The internet's being all Yeah. This one can be a rough estimate of time, right? Take four minutes and tell your partner your life story in as much detail yeah. as possible. This one can just be rough estimate of time. This is the second to last question of the first set. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, I was born, and then my first memory is being kidnapped, and then I had a pretty rough childhood. Like, it wasn't too bad, but, you know, things here and there are uh, pretty rough. Um, grew up to be a pretty wild teenager, probably because of that, but, like actually probably turned me into a pretty decent person now because I wouldn't be the person I am today without that happening. But I was a pretty rough teenager. Um, got into a little bit of trouble, was able to get myself out of trouble. Had babies. Became a hard brick independent lady. And now I'm just doing what I love with the people I love. Okay. I think I got that one. I think I did it. Oblivion.
So Art did get shattered, but he just got back to the house because he got a flat tire. Oh. Shit. Yeah. Shit. Yes, sir. That's no good. That's no good enough. Uh. Welcome in everybody, we are doing a love questionnaire. We are going to fall in love, build a deeper connection with each other. And this is how we're doing our spoops. The master spoops is helping us with these questions. Ooh. We are almost on the first set. You are welcome yeah, to join in that. for the second set to answer the questions. We were just as Sailor Moon today. And we are doing a ticket draw uh, at the end of stream. A couple more hours. Set flowers. Yeah. Come in with a hype. We love to see all the hype, my sexy motherfuckers. But <laughs> the song is so funny. I did a program I did a week weekend episode about rap. Do you remember any of the rap that you did? My money don't jiggle jiggle. It falls to let me see you wiggle wiggle. Oh, for sure. Wiggle put a dribble dribble. You know, right in my ear. You really have to see it. Six feet two in a compact. No stack. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay like i was born in 1998 my first memory is laying in the grass as a baby on a blanket that i still own oh my god that's such a beautiful first memory looking up at the trees that is a beautiful first memory spoopy i love that for you at 7, 8, I started showing signs of mental illness. At 10, 11, I got my first pair of glasses. So I started getting into hobbies of writing, reading, and drawing. Music was false. I was invited to uh, perform uh, Oh my god. At Carnegie Hall? Carnegie Hall. At 16, the plans fell through. I graduated, went to college, and became an... Oh my god. An... Anesthesia, 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 I can't say it, spoops, anesthesiologist, anesthesiologist, and a something -ologist. plans fell through again, now I'm becoming an MA, spoopy, I love your first memory, that is a beautiful first memory, I'm not sure what I really noticed by mental health stuff. Probably when I was younger, like if I really look back and think of it, but like even now oh, for me personally, weird. I don't like to think of it until like older, you know, like because kids can have mental health issues, but also kids can be still oh, developing God. and stuff like that, right? So I don't want to diagnose my kids and then have people to try to put like medications on them being any unless it was something super severe like super severe and we obviously there was like no other way than yes i would but like so far like my kids having their freak outs when they do or not being able to handle things when we, we kind of try to work you. together through it and stuff like that and so far it's good but like i i can't my parents it wasn't a thing back in the day when i was a kid like nobody diagnosed me when I was a kid, mental health wasn't talked about. It was like very taboo, you know, kind of a thing. I had a horse as soon as we very taboo. What? 
If you could wake up tomorrow having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? Like a quality, like a personal quality trait? Or like a physical quality trait? Or an ability? Realistically? <laughs> Realistically? I would have to say waking up with like the most knowledge of like business and like business sense and anything like that so I could wake up and then just destroy everything that I put my mind to like because I'm slowly learning and trying to get to that but it's like it would be nice to just know all of that I'm, uh, or I'm if we're like being <laughs> out there still says another ability missing would be knowledge. like mind reading i would love to read minds i know people would say they wouldn't like to read minds but i would love to read minds i would well, love to read that? minds i would also use that towards business right. and like keeping energy uh, vampires out of my yeah, circle yeah, yeah. you know That's what I would have to say would be mine. Because I could also use the mind reading to work my way up, oh shit, in business. Ooh, ooh. Definitely no longer have anxiety. That's the main thing. That's in my way of having a long lasting and self feeling. Rel romantic relationship. We can't get myself to trust people enough to let them in my life like that. That's a big one. That's a big one, Spoops. And that that's also a good thing. Like I feel like for me, it wasn't. Even, I didn't even think of that. Like to me, it's just like not even an option. It's like always going to be in my life. <laughs> wasn't even an option for me. <laughs> Uh, that's a good one, though, Spoops. I like that one. Summon the dragon. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, fucking did summon you. Here, I'll play around and then we'll continue. I'll play around and then we'll continue. Let's do that. We'll split it up. I'll play around and then we'll continue. Oh, now I have what weights beneath. Just in case people are waiting for me to get going. I'm liking the questions, though. I'm liking the questions. I'm enjoying it. It's probably weird. We see these guys just sitting all the way. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. Hello, hello, you guys can mix. Oh, we're missing one. Cute or schmidt. Hello, hello. Skill is a warrior. Little bag of bones. Let's try that again. Sydney, let's bag of bones. Let's try that again. Sydney, I feel like this chair. Is <laughs> Way low. Am I like super high now? Do I have to adjust my camera? Is that why? <laughs> Cindy, the TV's leaking. Cindy, the TV's leaking. <laughs> Did you send Brayden that picture? No, I didn't. 
<laughs> I thought you were talking about my ass. No. <laughs> Look up in there to click. Brayden likes my butt. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Feel <laughs> the room is going. Oh, hello. Is that what you saw Yo, Pickle Sunshine Toxic. What's up, guys? You guys got mics? Hello, hello, you guys got mics? <laughs> hello. Perfect. Somebody who can talk to me. <laughs> hey, you, uh, Jessica, bitch. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, hey, you, sunshine, awesome. bitch. Yeah, I'll never say that ever again. Oh, oh my, I'm, I'm so sorry. Was that rude? Was that rude of me? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I know, guys. Yeah, I thought, I thought my you knew it would be toxic. That's so toxic, but it's some little baby girl. You laugh like a fish. <laughs> you laugh like a whore. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it was actually like... a compliment because of whores are my friends. Oh, so. yeah, I'm not your friend. Oh, but you just said you were a whore, so you are. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh. Hey, you little fish hole. Who are you talking to? Huh? Miss oh, Jessica? There we go, there we go. That's Miss toxic. Jessica? That's who are you wanted. talking to? That's who I wanted. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Who are Finally. you talking to? Who well, are you talking, talking to? to Sunshine to I'm talking K10. to Sunshine. Yeah, I see. I can read this girl, okay? Oh, well, then so let me tell you something, okay? That's a stupid question. So let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> oh, tell me. So she's my cousin, okay? Oh, that's nice. I need to relax, okay? Toxic, oh, that's boy. your cousin? Um, Jessica, yeah, I just said it. Oh, that's nice. You guys seem like family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we are. <laughs> you guys, you guys like, definitely seem like family. Yeah, no, and you seem like a girl who spreads her legs for money. Oh, I do actually. I make a lot of money doing it, so I'm quite proud of it. I'm yeah. glad you know this, though. So good. <laughs> yeah. Fish. Uh, I like fish. <sighs> Which is oh, good for you. Bad. Did you know that? It Ooh, actually yikes. gives you brain cells, but since you don't like it and you don't have brain oh. cells, that's probably oh. why. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, see, I you didn't care. know that. Maybe you should eat some more fish. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. Oh, you know, that's what you say, but then that's procrastination and things don't get done. Yeah, my ass cheeks. It's a little Ooh, joke, honey, Don't talk about your ass cheeks like that. Uh, that's what whores up, talk about. That's what whores uh, talk about. I'm so happy. <laughs> Such a this is why I, I hate know. playing I with girls on Fortnite. I can't stand these holes, man. <laughs> Fuck. You suck at this game. Shut up! <laughs> you're dead! You're you dead! You died first! But you died first! But you died first! You... Okay, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is like... This is the way better than... What? What do you mean? You have Sailor Moon Stream Rabbit? What? And I missed it. What? Oh shit! Oh my god, they got my blood boiling. I love that. Like my adrenaline's going. Let's play again. Oh, oh, you guys, they might come into chat because they're toxic like that. Oh, I bet you anything they're gonna come into chat. I bet you anything. Kids be like that. Kids be like that. Though. That's okay. They just they just jealous. Huh. I wish you could do. You can, Rabbit. What are you talking about? You can you can do whatever you put your mind to, baby. <laughs> you guys get mics? 
Here, bro. <laughs> Hello, you guys come in? Sounds like somebody has a mic. Since my mic's echoing. That's not how teams win, guys. Don't tell me you can't do a Sailor Moon stream. You can do a Sailor Moon stream. Uh, I expect a Sailor Moon stream, actually. You do I freaking expect one now. I need to fix my curls. They're getting old. Beat up. You guys. You're getting beat up. Yeah, I don't think so either. What time is it? Which right here. <laughs> yeah, bro. Hello, hello. What the uh hi? How's it going? Is she gang? Is that you who's saying what the hi? And then sent me a friend request? Cut. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm the mysterious person. Oh, I see that. Oh, everybody's sending me friend request now. Do you guys got mics? Yes. I made drink water. I made not uh, drink water. Oh. Well, yeah, I would expect expect a fishy to drink water. <laughs> I was just born different than water. Uh, just born different. So like a fish out of water. Yes. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. <laughs> I'm like one of those flying fish, the one that breathes a lot air. Uh, I think that's called like a dragon. You know, because they fly and they have scales, like fish. Uh, Get it? Uh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Hello, Bambino. Do you got a mic? Yeah, I do. Oh, heck no. What, what about you, Slim Jim? You got a mic? We got the job. Yeah. Oh, there's a person, right? I'm a Here. fish now. I'm finally what I have become and dreamt of. <laughs> Let's go. Lung fish actually flying fish can't breathe there. <laughs> it's called a lung fish. Yeah, flying fish can't breathe there. It's called a lung fish. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm totally uh, fish savvy like that. Plus, I was a fish last match. Um, the last people I played with, that was their favorite nickname. Help me, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the toilet. Um, Somebody help me, I got flush that fish. Help, I'm in the toilet. You're not help. To flush fish. It's bad for the environment. I got myself stuck in here. What have I done? <laughs> Let's go, I'm free. I'm free. Oh, of course. <laughs> 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 
Oh yeah. I accidentally blew myself up with a rocket launcher and then survived for a second, but then there was a gas can that blew up <laughs> because of it and killed me after that. So careful this No. <laughs> I was trying to heal and like flick too many times. <laughs> People think they can compare with us. <laughs> Let's go, cabbage. Hey, we Yo, make him our teammate. Make um oh, the Jonesy our teammate. I don't care about life, I'm standing in the open, yes sir. So, what do you guys like to do for fun? Ooh. Sounds like you guys were 13, 10 maybe. I got a riff to go. I got a riff to go. Maybe 13, Play because, or maybe 10 because Play the 13 year olds were like a little bit older sounding earlier. Like, do you guys play hockey or football? I play baseball, mostly play Fortnite all day in my room because I don't go out outside and see sunlight and touch grass. I do I'm baseball. cringe. Let's baseball. go. Baseball is amazing. Baseball. Cringe for life. I don't touch grass. Yep. Well, you'll only be like that for a couple more years. Don't worry. You'll figure out your life. Cool. I spend the last of my mats on something dumb. Let's go. Ruined of my life savings. Yes, sir. So, what are you like? 10? 6? 10. 10. Yeah, that's what I think. I am grounded because my parents figured out I spent over three hundred dollars on my dad's credit card on Robux. Yes, sir. And yeah, you're playing Fortnite. I'm gonna call your mom. Oh no, it's fine. My dad, <laughs> my dad let me. My my dad said I can. I can. <laughs> Best parents ever. Say I can't. Huh? Then why are you grounded? I don't know. The I'm not allowed to play on my tablet because I spent over three hundred dollars on my dad's credit card on Roblox. Mm -hmm. But they let, but they're letting me play mm -hmm. on my PS Five. Let's Just go. Cap. Just cap. Straight cap. No, really. This, straight cap. This is actually no straight cap. I guarantee I actually, it. I yeah. guarantee it. Hundred percent because I have four kids and ain't no fucking way. Ain't I no may or may not have. Way, bro. My son is ten. <laughs> I actually do have it. I got this two years ago. Two, two no, years of my life. One, but I don't believe he spent three hundred dollars and then would be allowed to play again on your video games. I believe a ten-year-old right. who spent three hundred dollars would definitely one hundred percent be grounded off of all in any video games for months, months. Actually, guarantee actually, you. actually can because um. They in there because since my dad said I can use my PS5, my mom wedded me, but I can't use my tablet. The mm. only way I was able to spend over three hundred dollars was because I had I had my dad put hooked up his credit card to my the my tablet and and like and I and I re re memorized the please. password to buy anything, so I literally. Yeah, I was able to buy over three hundred dollars over on Robux. Oh. Well, hopefully you're doing something to work and pay that back off and being a respectable young adult, since you want to go and spend adult kinds of money. You know? Oh, that's th that's literally what I've been trying to do. I'm like, 
I want to do my chores to earn money, but I'm like, I can't do that right now. I literally have a whole, I have a whole day of playing Fortnite with all my friends, AK. Oh, all my friends are, are not boys because I'm lonely. Right, I see. Literally, so the only your friends, friends are girls? That, mostly all my friends are girls. Uh, most some of my friends they are girls. I don't know why, but that's for some reason I do. And you're a boy. Yes. And you, do you have sisters or brothers? I have one sister. She's she's only a um a year and a half older than me. That's probably she, why like, you have girls that are friends because you have a sister, so it's easier for you to talk to women because mm -hmm. you live with women. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Probably. We said, me and my sister said, like, like we were, like, fighting about, like, who's more popular, and she thinks it's her, because everybody at our school, they're like, hey, aren't you Damien's brother? But, like, I'm more popular, because they're all like, hey, aren't you Damien's brother? So, basically, meaning all those people know me, and kind of, like, every day after lunch, time when I go in, when I go to my class clearly there's like two like there's like a whole class of fifth graders outside our classroom and is that important to you yes there's something I actually better at than my sister but what exactly are you better at getting people to like you I feel like that's true but I also feel like that's false so I feel like you probably have a good personality, but you also have to remember to be humble about that, right? Because just because people like you, that won't last long if you put oh, yeah. off a shitty vibe, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure that you're being a respectful person to, you know, your family, your friends. So yeah. say you see your sister feeling le left out or something like that, then you would be respectful and you'd make sure she felt included in things or, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. But she doesn't really feel like she's left yeah. out because she always hangs out, hangs out like with her one friend. Well, that's good. That's good. Sometimes people like to have their own smaller groups, and that's fine, too. As long as you're, like I said, being nice and respectful and not, like, trying to rub it in her face, because then, really, you're not going to have those friends for long if that's the kind of attitude you have, right? Because yeah. Just because you act like that to your sister, it will rub off on your friends. Your friends will see yeah. it. And my kids lost friends from treating each other bad, like my older two. My yeah, son and daughter, they weren't being well, very respectful to each other, and they had a, a mutual friend, and that friend didn't want to be friends with them anymore because she didn't like the way that they treated each other. Mm. Mm. Three games ago, I felt like I was being, like, treated, like, horrible. Yeah, I had a couple games ago where people were not being nice, but that's just how it is. Some people have issues in their life, and they take it out on other people because they don't know how to handle their emotions. Three rounds ago, this guy kept calling me th things and sa I kept saying things about my mom. Yeah, that happens. Just know that that person has a lot of issues in their life and uh, they're taking it out on you and you just have to put out a better energy and be better than them by being respectful and, you know. You're young. You can learn that stuff. Oh my god, my earbuds, they're broken. That rocket. Oh. You got this. I'm gonna die. Dead. Dead. I, I believe in you. What the fuck? Oh shit, run. You got a. Yes, yeah. Let's go, we got this. Yeah, I don't know. Where is the place we get? 
No, you're just searching. Wait, fifth place, but there's four of us. But there's four of us. Doesn't that, doesn't that then make like there's like. Yeah, I kept that conversation was hard to have. That conversation hurt my brain. Almost worse than the toxic people did. <laughs> No, I don't want to be your friend. I want you, Owl. Okay, Fips, let's go round two. Tell me these questions. I want to hear them. Let's go. I love dudes. It makes me not want to listen. <laughs> Hearing kids talk to me, you know. Yes, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Have you ever been Shit. ever? Would you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever? Would you? Would you have you ever? Oh. oh, fuck. Full bit. Full bit. If a crystal ball could tell you the it's truth about yourself, your life, the future, asshole. anything else, would you want to know? Yes. We have tiny lasagna. Maybe, like, not so much about, like, specific I things about the future, I but, like, certain things I'd like to know. Yeah, for sure. Oh, fuck. Questions about myself, about my life. Questions about the universe. Things like that. For sure. Knowledge is power. What did they say? That that's that's a good one. That's a good one to ask. I don't know specifically what I would ask. I like about myself personally. Um I'm my message. Is there something that you dreamed of doing for a long time and why haven't you done it? I've always wanted to travel. And I haven't done it because it costs money and I have four kids. But I want to. Kids are starting to get older. And uh, one day I'll make money. We just make my head itch. Brayden, your brother's being a pig. He's a frog. He said, uh. <laughs> Brayden, want me to send you a picture of my butt? He says, no. <laughs> He says, fighting evil by moonlight. <laughs> by moonlight, get it? For your moon, my butt. Yeah. Whoa, why would they continue? I wanted to leave, leave this and start my life over again. I haven't done it because I'm scared. I don't have the funds. I wanted to move to Bali. I wanted to pack up my kids and move to Bali. But it's the same thing. I have funds and I'm scared. What do you consider traveling? Going to the store for me? It's falling up way from my house. I'm so traveling. I'm meaning like out of Canada. 
like out of the country traveling. Oh, no, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do that? What do you want me to do? No, baby. The greatest accomplishment of my life would probably have to be my kids at this point. But, like, aside from that, aside from the obvious, my kids. Thing where people always say when they have kids um, would be becoming the determined woman that I am to want to do all the things I want to accomplish still like becoming that person was an accomplishment in myself so I'm like shut up rabbit don't lie there's got to be something. There's got to be something. Even if it's like I took the garbage out. So are we on dangerous friends? I have a big dick. Some I don't know. Okay, you can go and grab the shadow from arts before you go to bed? Oh, okay. So I'm not without all day, all night, all day, all night, yeah. all day, all night. I'll do it very early. For me, it's successfully coming out of my depression huh? alive. There was way too many times oh, where I was yeah. this close to ending it all, but I made it and I'm Good. mostly Good. happy. See, that is a great accomplishment. That is a wonderful accomplishment. And, uh, you finish your sentence, so there's that. Spoops got you. Ooh! Oh, lawyered. Ooh. Lawyered. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Lawyered. <laughs> oh, holy fuck. <laughs> what do you value most no. in friendship? Honesty and loyalty. <laughs> I might be done. Whoa, fuck that. It's almost 11 o'clock. Yeah, we we leave. I'm very loyal to my friends. Broke a tea time. There is no end. <laughs> You're funny. All right. Rabbit man, me too. Me too. Was that your dog, Dustin? Okay. <laughs> yeah yeah that's my thing too right i am who i am i'm a very open uh, outgoing but... honest person i don't like to sugarcoat i don't pretend to be uh, something i'm not other than sailor moon obviously i'm cosplaying as i say that in cosplay character wow ironic but anyway um <laughs> i don't pre pretend to be something i'm not and if somebody pisses me off or something's wrong or something like that i talk to my i communicate it i'm honest about it you know and i'm loyal to my friends so when they're my friend even if we're having disagreements or something like that i they they're still my friend you know well, you loyal to them here. so it hurts me when people aren't the same way and they don't tell me like if i'm upsetting you or something like that and you don't tell me and then there's this big blowout or something like that about it and then all of a sudden i start hearing like oh this pissed me off or this pissed me off or you did this and i didn't like this blah, blah, blah. and it's like well how could i have known any of those things if no one ever communicated that with me like <laughs> To me, I was doing the best I could, right? Like, I try to be the best that I can. To me, I was doing the best I could. So, it's like, damn. 
I would have been I would have done better if I would have known. You know? I would have done better. I would have. Oh, the most treasured memories have to be the births. The births of the kids. That is a very big emotional treasured memory because yeah, better head her out here. it's All right. it's so intense yeah, probably. and you Maybe feel like you're time. gonna die and then all of a sudden all you right. give birth yeah. to this baby yeah. that you've been so careful to love for so long and you see them you can feel them you can touch them they're alive they're okay and there's no more pain the pain's gone yeah, okay. Like it's, and then to think about your body and the incredible thing that it just went through. Oh shit, that's on. Is, it's just, oh shit. It's just very, uh, to me that's very cherished. You keep digging. Thank you so much for the follow. How's it going, man? We're just uh, doing a little questionnaire with Spoops here. We're falling in love, getting to know each other a little bit more. We're doing a cosplay and a ticket draw later, as well as playing some Fortnite. I don't know if like, the kids are sleeping. You know, you know like our biscuits and stuff like that. So be quiet when you go up to the door, maybe. I'll message him saying you're on you're on your way. Hello. Phantom of the Opera live for the first time. I cried happy tears. I'm obsessed with Phantom of the Opera. Seeing it live was like seeing it for the first time all over again, just jaw dropping and awestruck. That's amazing. <laughs> wow, sounds like giving birth is amazing. Can't wait till I do. It was a, a pretty amazing experience. Oh, so much emotions, you know? We're gonna fall in love. Yes, we be. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ren, you're involved now. You have to answer these questions, too, my friend. We're going to fall in love together. Okay? We fall in love together. What is your most terrible memory? You looking for a teammate on so four? Right now, I'm just doing randoms, but uh, we're just answering questions right now. Um, and then I'm going to start a game. What is your most terrible memory? That's a hard question for me because I feel like it should be my one that should be my most terrible memory is like my first memory that I ever have, which is when I was five and I got kidnapped by my dad and like beaten and like put under a sink. He thought I was dead. Uh... And I remember that. I remember the whole thing. But I don't remember the feeling of it. Like, I don't remember what I felt in that moment. You know? I just remember the step-by-step, play-by-play of what happened. Um, as an adult, though, I've gone through a lot more 
emotional things I felt. Like, trigger warning, when I was raped as an adult. Uh, my ex's crackhead, cokehead cousin came by a day after we broke up and he was all like drunk and stuff and told me that he like ditched a cab. So I like let him upstairs to try to like explain, you know, me and your cousin aren't together anymore. He's not here anymore and blah, blah, blah. He ended up like raping me, like raping me. Like I was, I, it was, I was like so dumbfounded that this actually happened to me, like in like the movies kind of a thing, you know, um, with my kids there and my kid started coming out of the room and I'd yell and scream to them to get back in their room. So they just got scared and ran back to their room. They didn't see anything. And then the police came and a bunch of people came and it was this big thing and that, and then I had to go get like black lighted and I had to take a cocktail of pills and I had to get like rape kits done on me. And like that emotion of things happening was like, and then having PTSD after that, like actively, I like still have PTSD from it. And like the severe PTSD afterwards and then it reoccurring now, like that's just something like I feel almost as worse, but like the first thing's also just as bad, you know? That all oh, the death of your dog was when you were eight. He was your best friend. Oh no, is Booby gonna cry? <clears throat> oh, he got loose at the same time. He got gotten loose. He was on my sister and dad. Helps. Oh. Oh, that is such a horrible way to go. Yeah, that is a does that is a tough way to go, especially with the eight to see that. Oh man, oh man, oh boy, spoopy. That's a rough one. Oh, oh, puppy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine doesn't seem that as bad now. That is terrible. I was thinking you were going to like job loss or something. Man, suck eating. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've only been kidnapped like three times. Exactly, exactly. Exactly, Spoop. Everybody has their own, has lived their own life and somebody's level of sadness doesn't, or, or level of whatever scenario that has happened or whatever in the life doesn't like equal or doesn't take away from anybody else's, right? Like it doesn't, it's not a competition. It doesn't take away from what you've gone through in your life or anything like that or how it made you feel or anything like that. We're just sharing. We're just sharing. I've just been joking up to now. Rabbit's like, why is it getting so deep? These are love questions. You have to know the nitty and gritty and the dirty and the deep to know if you can really love somebody. And we're here to fall in love. Spoopy, we should have done this on my dating one. I said Jessica's serious show. <laughs> oh my god. My God. <laughs> if you knew that in one year you would die suddenly, would you change anything about the way you are now living and why? Yes, we would live in an RV and we would travel and my kids would have a year off of school and we would travel and I would die. Some are pretty.
So basically do nothing. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Rabbit. I would take time off just to go live in the forest with someone I care about. A nice cabin. The smell of the trees, the flowers. Just love it and would relax. Yes, exactly. Yep. Mm. That's why I'm on like an RV so I can like go to different spots like that. A cabin would be nice though, like a, like a spot because I'd like to garden. But I do that lots now. So. What does friendship mean to you? Hmm. How shall I articulate this? Mm, friendship like any relationship to me that you really care for. Uh, means like unconditional love, you know, unconditional, meaning obviously no conditions, uh, communication and loyalty, like I said before, like are really high in what I, what a friendship would mean to me, you know, and like me being able to be myself always and then having that person support me and be there for me and have my back you know feeling safe accepted exactly unconditional love mm -hmm. laughter yeah i think any relationship that you actually want and build like that, like such a deep relationship, like a friendship, not like maybe, you know, a work relationship or something, even then, you know, you gotta have some care, but I'm more on a friend blow up raft than a friendship basis with people. Distance is the key. <laughs> A friend blow up raft in a friendship. Oh my god, Rabbit. Believe me, my ship is tiny too. It's more like a two person canoe at this point. What roles do love and affection play in your life? I just spit. <laughs> that was too steep. Um. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> same um same <laughs> obviously uh what roles do they play i'm not sure how to answer that question i think love and affection play big role roles in my life um 
being a parent, I try to show as much love and affection I can to my kids. Having a partner, I try to show as much love and affection to all my, in all my relationships, to my friends and stuff like that. I really enjoy having love and affection. Uh, I love to be spoiled with love and affection. So, but also I like my space. So it has to be certain kinds of love and affection at certain times. You know? Mm -hmm. My mind is telling me no, but my body, my body is telling me yes. Okay. Sorry. Um, I totally understand that. I'm the same way. So like when I, <laughs> when I don't want to be touched, but I still want love and affection, it's like, if I was like, like I'm playing this game, I don't want to be touched right now and kissed and loved and stuff like that. But Morgan's like messaging me cute little sexy things. He'll sit down and play video games next to me and like give me cute glances so I can tell that he wants to give me love and affection. But, you know, he knows he at this moment it's not the time and I would be like, get the fuck away from me, bro. You know, um, when I'm upset and I don't want to be touched, but I still do you want to be touched? It's like having somebody doing something like make you tea or, you know, tuck you in or something like that, you know, where you're, you're not physically being overwhelmed by their energy, but you're still, they're still there showing that care that they're trying to, to work their way towards getting back to that. Uh, my big thing is when I'm upset and I shut down, they shut down and then, it just is a spiraling circle from there and it gets worse and worse and worse. Uh, Morgan's actually pretty good for not doing that. When I spiral and I shut down and I'm having a moment, he's pretty good at giving me my space, but also doing things to help to make up for what I'm upset about. Bye, Rabbit. Thanks for coming in and enjoying and joining in and giving us your two cents. Hmm. Are you in love yet? No? Well, you will be. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alternate sharing something. Alternate sharing something. You consider a positive char characteristic of your partner. Okay, so share five items that I think are positive characteristics of my partner. I like that he allows me to be me without judgment. I like that he's outdoorsy. I like that he's funny. I like that he has a good family and he's a family person. And I like that he has good work ethic and is a hard worker. And if you don't have a partner, I guess you could list off five characteristics that you would, um, considered to be good in the partner.
sharing this post. Looking back to your ex, yeah, she was funny, smart, determined, hard like a rock, but soft like a bunny. Ooh, cute. And she was so her. I love that. I love that. I loved her as much as an 18 year old could love. Aww, it's moves. But it didn't feel like love. It was an infatuation with her. Mmm. Mmm. It happens, especially at that age, it's hard to determine the difference between love and infatuation. I understand that. Hey, at any age, actually, sorry. Not even at 18. Like, of course, you're younger, but like, even nowadays, it, like, it could happen. Oh, uh huh. Mm hmm, mm hmm. <clears throat> mm. How close and warm is your family? Do you feel childhood was happier than most other people's? No. My stepdad was nice up until, like, <clears throat> he married my mom. So, like, it was all, well, I guess I got kidnapped at five, so that wasn't good. But it was, and then my mom married my stepdad at, like, when I was six. But it was all fine and dandy till I was about seven I guess and then he started really treating me like crap and then my mom allowed it and then I watched her like be like brought down from this very independent woman to a person that relies and and is so self-reliant on somebody else like just and would just constantly lean on this person who was not good to do that so and she lost a lot of things in her life because I actually disowned my parents and all of his family um I don't talk to my real dad or any of their family I don't talk to my mom or any of her family so the only family I have are my kids and <laughs> they fight with each other a lot <laughs> But they also love each other a lot, too. They do care for each other a lot. But they fight with each other a lot. And then I have to argue with them a lot, but I love them a lot, too. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty close and warm currently, and no, it was not happy in most cases when I was little. Yeah, same. And it didn't get any better. My mom, like, attacked me a couple years ago like physically attacked me and I had to physically defend myself against my mom because I it wasn't the first time but it was gonna be the last time <laughs> so yeah it was not good ended up smashing that bitch right on the ground and then she tried to fucking come around a few times and I'm like nah can't can't even admit what she did wrong and you're still blaming it on me so I'm just out Last question of this set, okay? How do you feel about your relationship with your mother? Oh, <laughs> as we were explaining, my mom used to be my best friend when I was younger. And then as a teenager, she started to really let my father control everything. And my stepfather was not, shouldn't have been a fucking allowed to do anything. Shouldn't have fucking been allowed to do anything at all, ever. The worst fucking asshole in the fucking world. Didn't deserve it to be in control of anything. Um, and then, like I said, she physically attacked me in front of my kids and I had to physically defend myself in front of my kids and basically beat up the grandma in front of them. But, like, I didn't beat her up. But I did have to physically defend myself because she was attacking me. So, 
and the kids seen it and in their eyes I'm hurting grandma so now I had to go through that with my kids and it was this big thing um and she has she has a lot of mental health issues too like she didn't have a good upbringing at all and but she doesn't want to deal with any of that and then my stepdad is very emotionally manipulative and abusive and she doesn't want to believe that but also does she knows it and she's very back and forth on it and then she'll leave him and then like after she attacked me she showed up on my doorstep with her, her bags and she's like i left bobby and she like tried to like come into my house and i was like mm, bobby's not the one that attacked me this time it was you and you wouldn't stop so you're not coming in my house <laughs> like be ridiculous that sounds yeah pretty close to her but i fear her like i fear the god i'm slowly no longer believing in i crave her blessings to do everything but at this time i know i shouldn't rely on her blessings to do anything with my own body and life that's true but it's hard when you grew up uh craving that kind of stuff like same with me like it still makes me sad it still makes me sad like i wish i had parents that were proud of me or i could do things with them or you know all that kind of stuff where's the bomb <laughs> But, um, you know, it is what it is. And uh, I, they Here. don't get to dictate. You remember to put the thing in the box. Yeah, I know. How I live or who I am or. And I don't get to dictate that about them either. So the best way for me to not do that and for them to not do that is for us not to be in each other's lives. Because they don't want to listen to what I have to say unless they're asking for it, and even then, they don't want to listen. There's one more set of 12 questions. Okay, well, I'm going to do a couple devs so we can still we can continue on spoofs if you wanted. I'm going to do some devs. We got some here. Yeah. Wanna do a tab before you go? No. Okay. What's A doing? Just hanging out, man. Just our third and the kids or no, should I be in the kids? Or are the kids asleep? No. Were they there? Yeah. Okay. Little cool. man wasn't thing. Uh just the older ones. Cool. Make three true we statements each. For instance, we are both in this room feeling. We both want a farm. We both want our kids to quit fucking arguing every goddamn day. And we both want a lot of sex tonight in a Sailor Moon costume. True? <laughs> So you make three we truth statement two statements we truth statements so those are my three we are lo both looking to be happy we are both looking to help with people in any way we can and the last one i don't know <laughs> <laughs> those two are good spoops Complete this sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could share my future goals with.
my future accomplished goal. I wish I had someone who I could share my life with. Someone who sees me, accepts me, and loves me in the way that makes me feel safe and not rushed. Oh, that is very sweet. That's a very sweet one. Swoops. I think I'm falling in love with you already. More so than I already was. Oof. Oof. Wait, 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 wait. I got that song stuck in my head, you guys. <laughs> I don't want to do spooks. I will make you blush. All they ever do. Aggressive blushing. <laughs> if you're going to become a close friend with your partner, if you were going to become a close friend with your partner, please share what would be important for him or her to know. Um, that I do what I want when I want and I am happy to do so. I'm no longer restricted. I am my own person. I make decisions for myself. No one makes decisions for me. And I want to be supported in my decisions. I do take constructive criticism, though. Whether I listen to it or not is a different story, but I will, like, like actually do it, but I will. I've been in too many relationships before where people would mentally and physically abuse me to the point where I wasn't allowed to do or say things and be my own person. And now that I'm not, and I'm becoming my own person, I'm learning who my own person is. Even still now, it's almost 30 years old. Um, I wouldn't want anybody to take that away from me. And they'd have to be comfortable knowing that that's how it's going to be. <laughs> that is a very big thing. Yes, Swoopy. <laughs> they need to know what your plans are um, in your future for terms of your body. That is true. <laughs> it may be biologically female now, but hopefully one day that is going to change. I have some potential partners. I've had some potential partners that didn't like the idea of me being a man. <laughs> These tits are going as soon as I get the chance. So have fun looking at them while you still get a chance, basically. <laughs> I personally find that a very important topic because I've never been in a relationship with a trans person before. I'm not opposed to it. I'm open to being in a relationship with anybody that I care for. I find trans people very attractive. Um, <coughs> in, in all forms of the transition, you know, <coughs> personally myself, that wouldn't be an issue but I understand how somebody could possibly like 
say they were in a relationship with somebody when they were very like young and they grew up being in a relationship to, with together and then this person is finally kind of exploring who they are and finally feeling that they can be themselves you know and making these changes and wanting to make these changes and then being with somebody and them having that you know being uh, like having that moment of like well this is not what i was wanting in a relationship because you know we, we'd been together for so long or whatever you know but at that point even too i feel personally i would be along with my person and be like you know i love you no matter what whether your body is female or male i want you to be happy right i want you to feel the most sexy the most open the most love the most you possible right because that's what makes me love that person so i feel personally it wouldn't be a thing for me but i can understand how it would be for somebody else and like i don't know because i'm not a trans woman or man or anything like that so i don't know personally but like to me, I think I would disclose that like right away. Just like if me personally, I would just be like, this is like right straightforward, like, hey, and then I'd be like, so this is this is the deal. Yay or nay. Right? Like so that they know and they're not it's not a thing. Like I wouldn't I think it'd just be so tiresome to have conversations like that, you know? Like when you got to know somebody and you're starting to think it's like you're texting and you're getting all these warm fuzzy feelings and then you know like a month or two into it you get to talk about it and then you're like oh shit that you know that would upset me because you put the time and energy into this person and then got shut down and then doing that over and over again would upset me <clears throat> like i can only imagine what people go through dealing with that kind of situation like trans people right so i would probably just right straight up be like i'm trans may look like a woman right now but it ain't staying and i'm not a fucking woman just wait i will plow your ass with a huge penis strap on not strap on whatever whenever whatever i figure out there i am fucking you i am a man or woman if i was going the other way I was mad. You know? I. <laughs> Peanuts. Because, like, me personally, I go through. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's called. I'm sure there's some, like, label for it. I don't know what it's called. But I go through feelings where I feel more masculine than I do feminine. And, like, when I put my strap on, on and I. And I and I do certain things or I'm wearing certain things, I feel very masculine and I feel like a man. But I know I'm a woman, but it's like my masculine energy is just taken over and I feel like a man. Like, I don't know what it means, but like, I'm, a, I'm also a very girly person too. Like, <laughs> there will be a dick and it's coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Smoops. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> there will be penis. <laughs> oh shit! I forgot I had that in my friend. <laughs> uh, that's great. <laughs> to to if you want to be honest though, like personally, personally, if I was to do that. If I was a man transgendering to like a woman, like doing the transition, I would keep my penis. I find that hot. Chicks with big tits yeah. and dicks. And like your, your, your G spot would still be in your asshole. So you could get fucked in the ass and bent over like a woman would be, mm -hmm. but also have a dick True. to fuck. True. True. All the hot bitches with instead of having to strap on, it's just on there. So personally, if I was if I was going that way, that's how it would be. But if I was going like from woman to man, then obviously I'd, I'd want a penis of some sorts and no boobs and stuff, you know, like in both cases, I want a penis. 
<laughs> okay. Chicks with dicks. God, gets me up so much. So hot. So hot. Beautiful big tits, hot chicks, big dicks. What? What? Like, ugh. I can't. And then they're like fucking dudes or, or like chicks. And it's just like, I just think it's so sexy. I think it's so sexy. Personally, one of my favorite porns to watch. Um, I don't mean to like fetishize it or anything like that. But like, yes. <laughs> Tell your partner what you like about them. Be very honest this time. Say things that you might not say to someone you just... Say things that you might not say to someone you've just met. Mm. Hmm. What do I like about you right now? <laughs> Nothing. Um. I don't know. I'm pretty honest about things with people I first meet, too. So. I like you. <laughs> well, you know what? I like it when you fuck my face. With your penis. Happened. You've never fucked my face. Well, In the four years we've been together. Yes. Your penis has never been inside my mouth. You know what? I don't like you anymore. I take it back. Scooby, I don't like him. No, mm mm. It was there, and then it was gone. <laughs> Something I would never say to someone I've just met. I like you enough that I'm deep down to fuck and wheeze. <laughs> oh, DTF, baby. I'm always down to fuck on the first date. If I like the person enough and they're putting up good vibes, I want to see that dick. I want to even look at it. I want to look at that dick. Even a look, because I don't want to, I don't, or vagina, like, I want to see some things. Because I don't want to be disappointed, like I said, months later. Putting in all that fucking effort, and then we go to have sex, and I'm like, oh, wow, this sucks. Like, now I have to break your heart, and all because you suck in bed, and, and it hurts people to hear that they suck in bed. So I'm like, damn, now I have to tell this person... Either I have to lie or fucking be honest with this person, and then I'm an honest person, so I tell them all this shit, and then they're whiny little bitches about it. So I'm definitely the person to be like, show me that dick. Yeah. Give me that dick. <laughs> If you can make me feel safe and not so anxiety ridden, you immediately have yeah, me in your bed. <laughs> you can be calm. I'm down. <laughs> Kinky and funny. Funny really gets me going. Like, <laughs> I love funny people. I love funny people. Funny people. <laughs> That's the only reason why you're still here. <laughs> Shut up, I don't like you right now. <laughs> you're not a part of this anymore. I have all the single ladies. All the single ladies. That's how I'm answering my question now. As a single lady. <clears throat> Share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life. 
I got caught stealing in school once. That was pretty embarrassing. Yes. I got wedged up in a tree and the 12 year old boy had a crush on it and had to come and save me. I think you told me that actually. I think I did tell you that. God, I told you everything. I don't know. You didn't tell me the first one. I... Which one was that? The school. I didn't tell you about that? Yeah, I think I did. Maybe you did. It was like. I had that little container that oh, I had, yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah, see, I told you. <laughs> you have to think about this one. My whole life is an embarrassing moment. <laughs> I stare a lot and once I stole a book when I was like six. And once trip going up some stairs. Everybody trips going upstairs, booby. That one doesn't count. But the other two were good. I was a I was a little thief when I was little. I stole a lot. I remember stealing from Superstore and getting banned from the mall. <laughs> <laughs> it was when I was in the mall. Superstore was never in the mall. Yeah, there was. No, it wasn't. There was a grocery store in the mall. It was in Zellers. It was like a superstore. That wasn't superstore. It was Safeway. Maybe Safeway. I don't think it was Safeway. I'm pretty sure it was superstore. <laughs> I've worked there for 15 years. And it before. I, it, it, it has never been. No? Always been there. Before it was a like where the dollar store kind of is now. Safeway. Oh, Safeway. Okay, then it was Safeway. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was Superstore. <laughs> I always like stub my toe <laughs> and like trip up it and like I don't know. Maybe it's just me and you, Spoops. Oh, <gasps> we're meant to be. We're meant to be, Spoopy. <laughs> When did you last cry in another person of friend said, I cried in front of my kids this morning because they were stressing me out and I was like, why, Lord? Um, and then I came upstairs and cried to myself. I think that was this morning. Or at lunchtime. No, it was this morning, I think. Yeah, they're so stressful. They're so stressful in the morning. Like, my kid, we, we sent her to bed at 8 o'clock, and her brother tried to go in and wake her up this morning just to, like, wake her up, and he was, like, trying to do it quietly because she shares the room with the two little ones. And if they wake up, well, then they're down there with them while they're doing all that shit. And she just started, like, screaming and yelling at him and then was just woke up and started being so rude and, like, bitchy to me. And I'm like, okay, you know, you can't be acting like that. And then I'm trying to get them, like, they have morning chores that they have to do, like feeding the animals and stuff like that. Because we're trying to get them into the routine of doing morning chores when we get into a farm. And, like, having responsibilities for the house and our family. And, like, we all have to pitch in because we have such a big family. It just... It's overwhelming. I usually end up in tears a lot with these kids. <clears throat> Almost started crying when I couldn't find my fucking shoe covers before stream started. I cried in front of someone maybe a week or two ago during a therapy appointment. You know how that goes. Yes, yes. And by myself, probably the other day just because I don't know why I was crying. It just was just was sad that happens sometimes you just have those emotions that are built up and you need that release and crying is a really good release crying is good for you it's 
you gotta make sure you hydrate. You gotta make sure you hydrate. <sighs> Stresses me out. <clears throat> tell them, tell your partner something that you like about them already. Nothing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You made me laugh when I was trying to be serious. And that doesn't work. It's not the Simpson <laughs> theory. Shut up. Hey, right you now. Always break from you. You're the one who brings up. Hello. Every time I you I'll be mad at you and you'll make me laugh. And just because I grinned or laughed at that one scenario doesn't mean I'm not mad anymore. He's like, oh, you smiled. I'm off the care bad anymore. It's like, yeah, no, I'm still wanting to punch your face in. I'm just going to do it while I laugh now. Well, <laughs> I can't you still hear. love me. I can't do what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to target this question at you this time. I like how open you are. I feel so free and safe with you. I value you as a friend. Oh, you're so sweet, Spoopy. Same. Oh, you're so wonderful. I'm glad you feel safe with me. And you are free. You are free to be your wonderful, beautiful self in all and every way possible. I value you as a friend. I really do. I really do. Oh, you're so sweet, Spoopy. It's my heart. I take my back. Fuck you, Morgan. Spoopy gets this one. Ditto. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> what? If anything, it's too serious to be joked about. Uh, racism, racism's not a good thing to joke about, but like, I, like, my friend Lace is a black comedian. I'm sure those come up in jokes and stuff like, like rape jokes are not a good one. You know, all those, all those top ones, you know. The main, I think there's like, a, I think everybody knows the, like the main group of things like you shouldn't joke about. And then it kind of trickles down to like personal preference. <laughs> right, like. Oh, for the, where's the kitten? Have you checked on her in a little bit? What is she doing just playing and stuff? <clears throat> if you were to die this evening with no opportunity to communicate with anybody, what would be the most regret you not having told someone why haven't you told them yet hmm I don't really know I pretty I pretty much communicate how I want people like I'm pretty yeah, Spoopy, same. I have no regrets. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> right? Like, I've said what I wanted to, who I want to. I've not said what I've not wanted to, I didn't want to, you know? So, I agree. Fuck it, I'm outie. Yeah. Fuck the shit I'm out. Fuck the shit I'm out. 
I feel like these buttons are supposed to be like more up on my head. Oh my god. Your house containing everything you own catches fire. Fuck. Oh my god, I literally have nightmares about this and stay awake up at night thinking about this. After saving your loved ones and pets, you have time to safely make a final dash to save one item. What would it be? And why? It would probably have to be like my um green file folder because it has like my documents and stuff in it and um important things in it like birth certificates health cards stuff like that so that's probably what i'd have to want to grab because that's the thing that's going to cost a lot of money to get back and it's hard to get those things back with other without other documentation and stuff like that so probably my my file folder it's like a green file folder of important things um there's some pictures in there of the kids and stuff too so <clears throat> that's like my go-to thing it's kind of a mess right now i was going through it and organizing it i have to put some more stuff in there but My flash drive, USB, my diary that I recorded all of my hallucinations about and bouts of depression. It, it is is in there. There are like five years of stuff in there. It's hard to make. Yeah, yeah. I want proof that I was indeed going through something and made it out alive. Exactly. Press the pleasure right into there. See, that's, that's super important. That's super important. 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent does anybody actually on nope just me let's go swoops uh not too long because probably like it two more questions and then i'm gonna play for a few more rounds like half an hour more and then i'm gonna do a draw and then I'm going to wait out. Um, because we're going to bang and then I want to do some gardening while I watch the criminal minds. I got to get those tomatoes up potted. All the people in your family who's dead. Wake me up. What? Okay. All of the if in of all the people in your family, whose death would you find the most disturbing and why? Ooh, it's hard. Uh. Could I do it like excluding my children? Because I think all the kids would like equally be the same, you know? There's four of them, and then that's like the obvious answer. <laughs> nice one. Right? Like, that would be the obvious answer. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, wake me up, babe. Wake me up. <laughs> you perv. Do you like it with your cheeky cheek? Yeah. <laughs> so, I think it would be... Hmm. I'm not really close with any of my family and like I thought about like my parents dying and like that sucks but like I also don't plan on having them in my life for the rest of my life so really it's kind of worse right it's kind of worse that they got disowned because they're actively not here. They're actively here and not a part of my life. Instead of being like dead and a part, not a part of my life because they're dead and have no other choice. Right? So. Hmm. 
the one person I really did love was like my grandpa was like Bobby's dad, my stepdad's dad actually. He was like one of my favorite people and he died when I was like eight <coughs> eight or nine. And that was really hard for me, I think. It would totally suck if Morgan died. I'd, I'd be torn up. I'd be heartbroken. You know, like, he's my only other person I care about, other than the kids, really, to that extent, you know, so. I guess my answer would have to be Morgan. God, you're lucky. So, I try not to be so, like, obvious with my questions, but, like, I guess. It's, like, my only family. My brother, too. My brother. There we go. I'll pick my brother. I'll pick you, too. But, like, my brother's... I, he's an ass, but I love him. I would be very sad if he died. Yeah. I'd say my brother. <laughs> but I'm also I also handled death differently than some other people too I don't know it's not this, like to me it's not like the same I don't know final question okay final question share a personal problem and ask your part and ask your partner's advice on how he or she might handle it also, ask your partner to reflect to you how you seem to be feeling about the problem you have chosen. Okay, well, my personal problem is... Uh, that all these motherfuckers in this goddamn house be pissing me off all the time. Good night, Morbid! I know it's a personal problem, but like, you guys piss me off. How should I handle this? <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Bob. Answer the damn question. Sucks to fall in love! More love. Just kidding. <laughs> My personal problem is that everybody in this goddamn house pisses me off. How do I handle this problem? And how do you think it's making me feel this problem? It is making me feel pissed off. How do you think I should handle it? Take a step back and... And do what? Take a step back. I do that daily. Okay, he's... He has no... He's no help. He's no help. Final question. You failed. You failed. Do you think you get some of the sailor pussy tonight now? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, just because I want some too. <laughs> my personal yeah. problem is Jeff what? Has you want. Yeah, shh. I'm reading Spoopy's personal problem here. Sorry. Don't interrupt him. My personal problem is why do I always feel off? How do I feel like things are going? How do I feel like things are going right, if that's a good way of putting it? How do I feel? Going, like, how do you know if things are going right? Like, how do you know? How do you feel? How do you get that feeling? Like, how do you think positively? 
Is that what you're meaning? How do you get that feeling of thinking positively, like knowing things are going to be all right and things are going to be okay and that they're going to work out? Am I understanding correctly, Spoops? Because I understand that. I understand that. And I don't know. I'm not there yet. But if I fucking get there, I will help you get there with me. So. If that helps. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Things are not right. Things are not right. Scooby. <laughs> but. People say they can be. Right? That's what people say. And I see it. In other people. So. There's a possibility for us. Somehow. Some way. And if I figure it out. I'm going to tell you the secret about it. Because I don't fucking know yet. But. I feel you. Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, guys, we are going to do a one or two more rounds. And then we're going to raid out because I'm going to go have some sailor sex. And that said, how do you feel? How do you do you feel closer to Morgan? <laughs> I didn't hear him answer anything. Um, he was like half a part of the, the conversation. I totally feel close to Morgan. I feel closer to you guys. I feel like like we've gotten a lot closer getting to know each other and stuff because like we did it together. <laughs> I feel like our love has grown a lot more spooky. <laughs> and uh, those are good things to go over in relationships and stuff like that, especially when you've been in relationships for so long. Those are good questions to go over, good things to go over, good reminders. Same. I, yeah, I liked it. So, yes. Okay. You guys have no. mics? Yes, we all have mics. Nice. You had been giving me chance. Hacked it. Hey. Let's go murder some people. Leave them to me. Let's go. Are we fucking them all? You fucking them all? Sorry, not your mom. I will fuck them all. Oh, I thought you said my mom. I was like, damn, man. Go for it. Like, I'm sorry. It was like intense. Like, right after that, I'm gonna fuck your mom. Yeah, I'm okay. She's... No, no, no. You heard me I wrong. see you. I catch you. I catch you. I'm not just kidding. I'm coming with you. Either way, I'm down. Let's, let's go. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> your, your mother. I will, I will. Hey man, she's old enough to make her own decisions. I can't do shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> oh, there's a tank. Okay. Bad guys. <clears throat> I thought it was IOS, but I don't think it is. My thing is 200. I'm lagging. Okay, okay, I found someone. Okay, I just killed him. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, who <laughs> just killed him? You wanna let the bomb on the tank? Okay, Wait, can anyone survive me? Is it a robot still a tank? Or... No. Okay. no, 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 I killed him. No, no. They just survived me. Up on the hill over there. Check the mini. Thanks. Where is he? Oh. 
They were up on that hill, but then somebody's flying down. Also from the blimp. Okay, okay. He's there, he's there. Oh, he fell. He fell off the edge and nice, he's on nice. the ground. Ulla. Gold shotgun. يا ولد نوع الشدقة انت تبغاه ذهبي لا لا اسمع تكلم بالانجليزي اكثر مرة يلا اوه هيز ااا شو يسوي؟ هيز اوفر ذير اوه ان سمبيس اوفر ذير نوت ذا اوكي سو هم سو هم Oh, maybe he took the zip line and I got him. No, no, he's dead, he's dead. Okay. Nice. There is no one here. Manta, I have a mid kit. I'm doing one for you. TV, use the mid kit. Okay, one second. Okay. <coughs> Where are you from? Canada. Canada, oh. Where nice. are you from? Saudi Arabia. Oh, cool. It's going good. How was your afternoon? Uh, there is someone here. Going to him. Man, you see the height. It's on shot. Nice. <clears throat> of course. You did miss the love questions, me and Spoopy, and the chat went over, what, 36 questions, Spoopy? It was, like, to connect us closer, help us fall in love with each other, or, you know, your spouse. Get a little bit more in love, or maybe fall in love. We answered I, a bunch I of am, questions. I am actually a married guy. We got deep. We did get deep. You're what kind of a guy? But Married guy, but oh, my brother here, he is single, MB. He is oh, my brother. Oh, oh. You're he is single. How long have you been married for? <laughs> Three years. Oh, wow. That's wonderful. You got kids? Yes. Yes. One son. Oh, that's nice. What's what your about wife's you? name? What about you? I have four kids. Four kids? Yes. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. And how old are you? 29. 29? Yep. How long have you been married? Uh, I've been with my boyfriend for four years. Boyfriend? Not married? Not married, not yet. Mm-hmm. Not yet. Uh, but why? You have four kids. Why are you having to get married? Uh, because I do what I want. Yes, you can do what you want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had babies. <laughs> From him? From one. Mm. I think I hear someone. Oh no. Wait, wait. Oh, uh, yeah, you did. You missed it, Spoof. Or Spoof. <laughs> Spoof's had so many <laughs> good questions. It was wonderful. Very good, though. Yes, good. So how come you didn't have kids before? I have kids. You have one kid have now one kid. after marriage. How come you didn't have any kids before you got married? Before... Before marriage? Yeah, why not? Because mm. In our country, in, in, in Islam, we get married, then we have kids. Ah, 
Ah, not the other way around. Not the, it's a not the other way around. Kind of a thing? Tradition and Islamic thing. Ah, Religion I see, and I traditional. See. Tradition. I see. And everybody follows that pretty strictly there? Yes. Okay. Do you do you guys do you like that? Like who? Sorry? Do you like that? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Okay. I'm just curious. Do someone have a big shield? I don't. I have many shield. Small shield. <clears throat> so how is the weather in Canada? Pardon me? Is it snowing? Oh, yes. How is the weather? Yeah, it was snowing. It's supposed to be spring, but uh, it snows still for a while. <laughs> when someone said... When someone say I am from Canada, I immediately imagine the snow. Yeah, everybody usually does. We got lots of snow here. Hmm. It's not always. Yeah, it's not. But yeah, I think it's more of a, a culture-based thing and a religious-based thing, which is which is fine. Like, uh, that's how it be some places, you know. I was just wondering yeah. how they feel about it because some people might be totally okay with that. Some people might be like, no, you know, I don't enjoy that, but I have to do it because it's it's the way it is here, you know? Like, no, so I was just I curious. Actually, I actually enjoy that. That's nice. Mm. And how old are you? 28. Okay. And uh, your wife, how old is she? 26. Nice. Yep. What's her name? Wait, wait, my friend uh, is coming. I bet Lama. It's, a it's a pretty name, I bet. Lama. Oh. I want these berries. You guys want shields? There's berries here. Okay. It'll, I think it actually heals you too, oh. I don't know, but it might just be shield, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Okay. Have I got any wins this chill, morning? Chill. Not some Not tonight, this morning we did. But I've just been messing around. Messing around. We're going to do a ticket draw right away. And then we're gonna raid out. And then I got some sexy things to do with the man. And then I gotta mm -hmm. do some gardening afterwards. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. This is your daily routine? Oh, yeah. I, see so I saw someone. Wait. Two players. I'm gonna push. Uh, there's someone here, here. Okay. I saw him. He's around. He didn't have a material. Shit. The fourth player just joined him. He is carrying him. I'm gonna push. Okay, okay. He is reviving him. We not have a uh, wood. They're gonna have to push out. Oh, the zone is coming, okay. Nope, there they come. I don't have ammo. Uh, neither do I, really. It's okay, we can push towards Storm. <clears throat> yeah, he liked the cosplay, so he was like, you're gonna keep that on. I was like, okay. Let me have this well. <clears throat> Do, 
Hey team, I gotta find some ammo. Somewhere. Uh, behind you, behind you, behind you, son. Okay. Just oh, one. <laughs> Our teammate just left. Yeah, that happens. It's okay. Someone's here. Someone's here. You guys should come. Uh, this so way. I'm running away. I'm lagging, bro. He's one. No, he's one. <laughs> I he's just shot the hell out of him. Uh, here, here, here. I think he's one shot. Okay. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. Okay. He's one shot. No, Rick. I killed this bastard. There you are. Uh, the zone is coming. Okay. Let's move. Why did you just leave oh. us? I have to get ammo. Uh, there is a lot of ammo here. Okay. Well, you it's guys time to go there. For me now. I'm already in zone, so I might yeah, as well yeah. just... Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, what ammo do you want? Do you want? I need AR and... I have uh, 500. Okay. I'm gonna give you. Yeah, I only have 36. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you need an SMG ammo? Yes, I do, please. I do 500. Okay, I saw someone here. All oh, my ammo is uh, full. I'm coming that way. Okay, I just killed him. Come here, come here. Uh, you are blind to film. Thank you. See? Take some G in the air. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh... <coughs> no, I just. I wanna, I wanna hear myself. Here, here. We have a medkit. Oh, thank you. Perfect, that's lots. Thank you, guys. Come. I think I saw someone here. Oh, yeah, I see uh, some flat. Oh, up, right up here. Okay, someone's here. Oh. There he is. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, shoot, they got me. Wait, wait. <laughs> How many, hey, how many is here? somebody on that hill over there? <laughs> how many people here? Oh, no. Someone fuck you! Like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> GG's, guys. GG's. GG, GG. Thanks, you too. The mountain. So I'm happy to play with a new team. Let's <laughs> Let us... See who's on. Should we raid out to today? Who should we raid out to today? Maybe Seth. No, we raided Seth last time. Actually, what we should do is go and check out the. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm going to the drip squad here and see who's on. Let's go make a new friend. Let's see all our friends that are on. 
are they playing? The bro daddy, oh my gosh. Okay, Apex. Devin, thank you so much for those 100 Ethan, bits. Ethan, 24 hour stream. And Zero hours of thank sleep. Thank you so much, Mr. Pastabon, for the host. Mr. Pastabon, I really appreciate you being here, hanging out. I'm heading off to bed. You're welcome. Hope you had a great. I ain't cracked for shit. Warzone, okay, we got some Warzone. W for at least getting like what? I'm pretty sure I carried my team. I got people running at me. Which one, the first one, Ethan or Gucci? What's up, bro? Come on, get Apex. up. Apex. If you play, if you play the modded versions, it's 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 really good. <clears throat> GTFO. It's, it's it's not worth my GTFO? time. I, I don't know that game. I don't I think said, this gun is. I'm not gonna be street. Oh, I re wait. What did I fuck up? Smoky Bear is on. Oh, the like first it. one. Oh, okay. Apex, I think. Yeah. Oh, nice. Play some phasmophobia or something to like. Alert, fuzzy nuts. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on Friday. Thursday is going to be my other out, day I off think. this week as well. So Tuesday and Thursday this week, I'm off. Lord Friday, we're coming fuzzy in hot and hard. Uh, his name is Horror Funny. Night. We might play a new game. Dominic, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for all the gifted sub love. Again, I can't say thank you enough. It is not. Uh... Ink heathen. I like that name too. It's like I can play with Giant, I'll play World of Tanks or uh, Rainbow Six. So anyway... Fluffy! I'm like just going through all of them. Yeah, apparently! Uh... We are going to drive to... The Pink Park. Wait the list. Me, that's what. That's me all day. Peanut butter, peanut butter, meal. Maybe we can think we'll join Ethan's twenty-four oh, hour peanut stream. Peanut Speaking of, I gotta get a snack. Snack. Sorry, my brain is in autopilot mode and I'm moving. I'm moving all my fingers. He's like art, bro. Strong opinions, love that. 20 years old, born and raised in New Jersey. Love to chat and interact. Love tech. Huge music nerd. Welcome in. Okay, I'm literally the only person shooting their team right now. Dude, they're so low. Just push. There's one left and he's here. Oh, I can't even type properly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I haven't had a Reese since middle school. Toxic killer with the freaking example right of dues. Treat everybody with thanks. So, uh, myself and mod, show Help kindness. Please stop for my Mr. Message. Use common sense. Oh, no negativity. Jessica Sao Show. Thanks for having me. I love, love it. Love it. Love it. Great to be here. Toxic raid. Let's go. Dark Misty is coming in. No problem. How was that stream? Apex as well. Oh my gosh. Good to see you again. Good to see you again, Toxic Killer. Guys. Seems like a nice dude. Right Seems like a nice season. young fella. I play a lot of games. One of those games is Apex Legends. We're playing it right now. Thank you, Toxic Killer, for that raid. I hope you had a fantastic stream. I had the pleasure of meeting Toxic Killer a few months ago, and uh, uh, nothing but a great content creator over there. So please, I cannot say. Elite snipers here too, coming from that toxic raid. Love that. I did. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Okay. I think the first stream I watched you do was like you building it. This is who we're gonna raid out to. But first, before we go, before we go, my friends, we have to do our ticket giveaway. Let me adjust my wig. We have to, or ticket giveaway, ticket draw. Oh. My booty cheeks are sore from sitting on this. So, let me get my drum roll ready here. A drum roll, a please. I'm ready. Turn it down so it's not so super loud in your guys' ears. So, everybody who has gifted subs or subscribed gets their name put on a ticket. 
and it gets put into this jar and it's just in here forever and we do random giveaways and the giveaways sometimes are little things that i have sometimes they're bigger things um yeah so i think today we are going to pull some for paintings and then the next giveaway is going to be a merch giveaway uh like some kind of t-shirt or maybe one of the puzzles or something like that but uh that's how it's going to be so we're going to we're going to draw we'll draw six names today if we get a double, we'll just throw it back in because if we get doubled while we're drawing, you, you don't get to win twice because you're going to just basically, well, you'll get two paintings, but like, so we're just going to do it like if your name gets pulled, it gets put back in there for the next time. So we're going to draw six names. I don't know that drum rolls a little low. Our first name is Queen 808. Yes, baby. So she already has a painting on the way, a nice big one, but she will be getting two now because she decided she wanted a painting from her last winnings. Okay. Queen. Queen, you don't get to win twice. And you, you, Queen gifted so many subs, so her name's in here, like, so many times. So we might have to pull, like, a bunch of times. Mr. Conductor! Love it. Oh, that's wrong one. Happy Fat Guy Gaming! That's our third one, babies! Yes! Yes! Common King! My love, my soulmate, my best friend. Way two and one more, baby. One more. I haven't seen Crowd in here for a while. One more, and it is. It's common, so now we're gonna put it back in. There. <laughs> one more, baby, common. The luck. Right it. There we go. We have our names. We have Queen, 808, Mr. Conductor, Happy Fat Guy Gaming, Common, Prof, and Riot. I will be making you paintings, little paintings. And you will love them. And you will get them when I can mail them out. Congratulations, my love. I'm going to put this up here so they don't get mixed up with the ones that are in here. The chips are in here. I appreciate you guys so much. This is just a little way of me giving back to you guys because the support is unreal. The support is unreal. I couldn't imagine a better beginning journey on twitch here with you guys making so many new friends and just like my road and my journey through affiliate so far has been amazing and you guys are part of that you guys are the main reason for that so i love you so much i do i love you guys so much i care about you so much i appreciate you so much i'm here for you 100 percent and Let's go show some love to our new friend, Ethan, here. We're going to do our ending screen. 
Oh, thank you so much for the follow. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Oh, thank you so much, ma'am. To hugs for you too. Okay, he's still on, right? Yeah, okay. He's still doing his 24 hours. We are just going to go to our ending screen here. Do our little credits and say thank you again, you guys, for coming out. I know it was a, a couple hours shorter of a stream today, but I have a few things. I need to get laid and then I need to do some gardening. Um, it's sailor sexy time right now. So thank you to our moderators who are in, our new follows, our new friends today. Appreciate you guys, new subs our resubscribers, more bit. Good night and spoopy. Thank you for coming in and having such wonderful questions and games to play today. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you being in here and having a having a fun little game to play with me. I like that. We we connected. We connected so fucking hard. It was wonderful. So let's everybody stick around for the raid. We're gonna go show Ethan our new friend. Fend, not Our new friend. Some love. He's playing Apex. Yamta says, hey, I know that guy too, so let's go show him some love, guys. And we're gonna be on tomorrow evening for some mo games. And depending on how the day is, we might even get in the morning stream. You never know. Those are a surprise always. So let's go give him some love. Let's go raid him 